السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ناظرین ایک خوشخبری لے کر حاضر ہوئی ہوں آکسفورڈ سٹی یو کے کی نئی لارڈ میئر ایک احمدی مسلمان خاتون بنی ہیں آکسفورڈ ٹاؤن ہال میں لبنا عرشے صاحبہ کی حلف برداری کی تقریب منعقد ہوئی اس دوران ریٹائرڈ ہونے والے لارڈ میئر جیمز اپنے عہدے سے مستفی ہو گئے حلف برداری کی اس تقریب میں نئی بننے والی میئر لبنا عرشے صاحبہ نے تقریر کی میں ان کی تقریر کو مختصر الفاظ میں اردو میں بتا دیتی ہوں اس کے بعد آپ پوری تقریر سن سکیں گے محترمہ لبنا عرشے صاحبہ نے اپنی حلف برداری کی تقریب میں اللہ تعالیٰ کے ببرکت نام سے اپنی تقریر کا آغاز کیا انہوں نے اپنی فیملی بیک گراؤنڈ بتاتے ہوئے کہا کہ ان کے والدین کا تعلق سیالکوٹ پاکستان سے ہے جو انیس سو ساٹھ کی دہائی میں آکسفورڈ یو کے موو ہو گئے تھے انہوں نے بتایا کہ وہ کئی سالوں سے مختلف چیریٹیبل کاموں میں شامل رہی ہیں بشمول رائل برٹش لیجنڈ کے لیے فنڈ ریزنگ کرنا ڈیزاسٹر ریکوری پروجیکٹس میں حصہ لینا اور اجتماعات میں مشغول ہونا جس میں مختلف کھیلوں کی تعلیمی مقابلوں اور عمومی معلومات شامل ہیں اس کے علاوہ انہوں نے بتایا کہ وہ آکسفورڈ سٹی میں اس عہدے پر فائز ہونے والی پہلی کم عمر مسلمان خاتون ہے اور وہ محبت سب کے لیے اور نفرت کسی سے نہیں کے اصول پر پختہ یقین رکھتی ہیں مزید کہتی ہیں کہ جب انہیں اس عہدے پر خدمت کی پیشکش ہوئی تو انہوں نے فوراً حامی نہیں بھری بلکہ تقریباً دو ہفتے انہوں نے دعائیں کیں اپنے اللہ تعالیٰ سے مدد مانگی اور خلیفہ وقت کی دعاؤں اور ان سے کاؤنسلنگ کے بعد فیصلے تک پہنچی انہوں نے تقریر کرتے ہوئے کہا کہ اللہ کے فضل نے ہی مجھے آپ کے سامنے کھڑے ہونے کے قابل بنایا ہے اور میں اپنے خدا پر مکمل بھروسہ کرتی ہوں اس کے بعد انہوں نے اپنے شوہر بچوں اور تمام عزیز و کارب کا شکریہ ادا کیا جنہوں نے یہاں تک پہنچنے میں ان کا ساتھ دیا where the councillors present have to vote on this nomination. Those in favour of... Well, you all put your hands up before I said for what? <laughs> Those in favour, obviously, of, of Lubna becoming the next Lord Mayor. Anyone against? And abstentions? No, I'm sure none. So, congratulations, Lubna. <laughs> Please, everybody, take a seat. Thank you very much. Just asking the Lord Mayor to sign uh, the Declaration of Office.
In the name of Allah, the most gracious and ever merciful, peace be upon you all. Deputy Lieutenant, Deputy Lord Mayor, City Sheriff, Honorable Recorder, Under Sheriff of the County, Member of Parliament, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I would like to express my gratitude to God for granting me this opportunity to address all of you here today. I want to extend my thanks to my parents for their unwavering support and guidance and instilling in me the values of integrity, bravery in challenging times, and a commitment to helping others. May I kindly request those who are comfortable with me sharing a bit about myself to raise their hands. Thank you. My grandparents were humble farmers, leading simple lives in the 1960s. My parents migrated from Sialkot, Punjab, Pakistan to Oxford, UK. I am proud to be the second generation born and raised in Oxford. Throughout the years, I have been involved in various charitable endeavors, including fundraising for the Royal British Legion, participating in disaster recovery projects, and engaging in ishtamas, which encompass short sports, academic competitions, presentations, and general knowledge quizzes to foster academic participation and engagement. As the first Muslim, the youngest and the first woman of color to hold the position of Lord Mayor in Oxford City, I strongly believe in the principles of love for all and hatred for none. When I was asked to serve in this capacity, I did not immediately say yes. Instead, I spent nearly two weeks in prayer seeking guidance and fervently asking for divine intervention. The counsel and prayers of uh, the Khalifa of our time, who I consulted, along with the God's grace, uh, have enabled me to stand before you today. I reaffirm my trust in God. I am grateful to my husband for his love and support, particularly during my election campaigns and when working within the local community and society. While I went door to door to check on our local residents, my parents and my husband took the responsibility of caring for our children. I'm also thankful to my brother, my sister, aunt, friends and comrades for their kindness. I take pride in my eight-year-old son, Hira, who selflessly served as the eco-champion actively participating in litter picking sessions and tree planting initiatives for our city and school. A moment of great pride for me was when, the, as the cabinet member for parks and waste reduction during COVID-19, I garnered support to establish Oxford's first polytunnel in a local school, allowing younger generations to learn about sustainability. Engaging with youth, Having meaningful conversations and attending community events bring me immense joy. I am grateful to each and every one of you who has taken the time to be here today, as well as the councillors who have elected me as Lord Mayor. I would like to express my appreciation for all the unsung heroes who are making a positive impact in shaping our world, regardless of their titles or social standing. You are the ones who truly make the difference. For me, the primary focus has always been on doing my best and assisting others. It takes humility, an open mind, understanding, forgiveness, and unwavering determination to continue on this path. And these are the qualities are bestowed upon us by God. I firmly believe that abundant resources are available to us and everything occurs for a reason. Despite the responsibilities uh, of caring for my young family and elders, I consider it my duty to make a difference on a larger scale. As a highly visible Muslim woman of color and the Lord Mayor, having been born and raised in this city, I consider it a tremendous honor to serve both our community and nation. 
I strongly advocate for respecting everyone and promoting a message of love for all and hatred for none. From a young age, I have been instilled with the values of selfless service, regardless of the magnitude or significance of the tasks at hand. Annually, I actively participate in the International Jolsa Salana, where we come together as a team across various departments nationally to serve the guests of the Promised Messiah with the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Our shared objective is to ensure their well-being, motivated not by personal reward or by desire, but just to please our Creator. I hold a strong conviction that women are the architects of nations and hold the keys to a brighter future. Being entrusted with the role of Lord Mayor in Oxford, a city that has provided me with the best opportunities in, in life, is an immense privilege. It is a lifelong honour to be in a position where I can give back to the community. As the saying goes, a nation cannot be reformed without the reformation of its youth or its people. Hazar Muslimod Razitala Anho. Every month when I attend my local Muslim community meetings, we take a pledge reaffirming our readiness to sacrifice our time and energy, including that of our children, for the cause of faith and nation. This serves as a reminder of our significance and responsibilities within society. My prayer is for all leaders to become advocates of peace and prosperity worldwide, upholding the principles of justice, tolerance, and freedom of belief. May God bestow upon me and all of you good health and strength, enabling us to serve our city and support the charities that I have carefully chosen. These organizations will make a significant difference in the lives of the countless individuals in various ways. I firmly believe that we can achieve this transformative impact only by um, working together. Therefore, I have selected following exceptional charities. The first is Humanity First. I urge everyone to support this organization as they provide aid to individuals and families affected by disasters and those living in socially disadvantaged communities, both globally and nationally. Their projects include initiatives such as the gift of the site, orphan care, food security, building schools in remote areas and install, installing solar panels in electricity in the deprived villages where my brother, at his own expense, went to do just this. I have personally volunteered alongside my sister and my, our community to raise funds for disaster relief projects supported by Humanity First. My second charity is Oxford Community Action. For over a year, I have been volunteering with this charity and have witnessed firsthand the significant difference they have made to the lives of the struggling families in our city. They tirelessly work on diverse projects, including holiday provisions, providing food during school breaks, facilitating access to IT resources for Oxfordshire residents, and delivering food parcels to those in need. Their compassionate and community-centered approach is truly commendable. The third chosen charity is Asylum Welcome. Having encountered numerous individuals who have faced persecution and trauma in their home countries, including Afghanistan, Ukraine, Syria, Iraq, and Pakistan, and all across the world, I am eager to extend a warm welcome to them in our city and offer support where possible. Asylum Welcome plays a crucial role in aiding supporting these individuals as they adjust to life in our community. There are over 200 volunteers and they work really hard to support those who come to our city and organizations. My vision is to unite this unequal city and I urge all individuals, regardless of their faith or none, to join me in this endeavor. I kindly request you to reach out and offer your assistance as we undertake this monumental task together. Thank you for your attention and support. 
May God bless you all. Thank you.